Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and the Tangem Wallet has just released a new update to their application, which includes some exciting new features. They support 24 word seed phrases now, they support passphrases so you can create hidden wallets, and they've added some new networks that you can manage cryptocurrencies on. Let's get into the video and uh, I'll show you all these features. So on their blog, uh, they talk about the different updates. I can put a link to this down in the description. These are the new networks that uh, the Tangent Wallet supports. Uh, I noticed there that they have base, which is pretty cool. So uh, these are the new networks. That's great. Uh, we've got the updated seed phrase support. Uh, and notice this is when you're setting up a brand new wallet. So there is no way to convert an existing wallet based on a 12 word seed phrase to 24 words. Um, it's a bit complicated. The only thing you could do is uh, get a new wallet, set it up with 24 words and then transfer your assets. So if you only have one card set, I would not recommend doing this. You could easily lose your crypto trying to upgrade to 24 words and you're not really gaining an advantage uh, from 12 to 24 words. The risk of screwing something up is much greater than the security, uh, the slight amount of security that you're going to gain. So uh, if you want a 24 word seed phrase, I would suggest getting a new card set and setting that up. And then you can transfer between your wallet safely and securely without worrying about screwing something up because trying to reset an existing wallet runs the risk of you accidentally uh, losing access to your assets. Like you may get all excited and think you're going to do this and then you can't find your 12 word seed phrase and you've already wiped your wallet. That's just one scenario. But please, if you decide you want to migrate to 24 words, uh, please be responsible. I'll probably do a separate video on how to do that. Let's go ahead and check our version. If we hit the three dots up here. All right, uh, as you can see, I'm still on 5.8.2. This is where you can check your version. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get update. Oh, okay. So I went over to the app store, into the uh, Tangem app, and uh, now the update button shows up. So let's go ahead and update our app. All right, now we can open it up. And uh, it looks pretty similar to what we had before. Uh, I still have my three wallets that I mentioned earlier. Uh, notice that uh, there's some indicators here. Uh, if you're managing a three card wallet set, uh, the icon here will show you that you have three cards in this set. Some of you may have two card sets, right? I like the three card sets. And then uh, notice that I have my three different primary cards right here if I need access to these wallets. And the each of these cards has two backups that are stored away safely and securely. And we can swipe between the wallets uh, by going left and right. Right. So you can manage multiple card sets. So, for example, if you decide you simply must have a 24 word seed phrase, uh, get a brand new card set. Right. Set it up. Set it up with 24 words and uh, you're good to go. And then you'll have access. You'll be able to transfer between the wallets. All right. Let's check out some of these new networks. All right. So why don't we use this empty wallet here to do the demonstration for uh, the new chain? I'll go ahead and do base chain. So we'll choose manage tokens here and then uh, we'll go to US dollar coin and uh, we're going to enable the base chain here. Uh, there are some other newer chains like Moonbeam, uh, ZK Sync Era, ZK EVM. All right, so those are some of the alt uh, EVM chains. We'll just choose save changes here. Uh, and then if we want to add those standalone chains, uh, we can even search for them if we want to. So if we want to do the Moon River, 
You can see there it's got its own separate chain. We'll just enable the main chain. And if we wanted to do play bowl, we could hit manage tokens and hit uh, play. There it is, playable. I guess that's how you pronounce it, right? And we can uh, activate the main chain or the avalanche chain because I believe uh, there was this particular coin uh, has uh, functionality on the avalanche C chain. And then uh, we can hit manage tokens again and this time try flare. So we've got uh, support for the flare main chain and Taroxa. If we hit manage tokens here, there it is. Okay, and then we also have the Ethereum chain if you want to manage tokens and maybe convert. All right, so those are the chains. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate one of those chains. Uh, in this case, we'll do base. So uh, I want to receive base. Now, uh, notice the, the market price here. There really is no base token. It's just Ethereum on the base network. Uh, but Tangem is indicating that there is a base token. So it's basically Ethereum in the on the it's basically Ethereum on the base network. Let me demonstrate. I'll hit receive here. Uh, I'll copy this into my clipboard. I'll go over to my Coinbase account and I've got some US dollar coin and I've got some Ethereum. We'll go to the Ethereum, I'll tap withdraw. And here's the important part. I want to make sure that I withdraw my Ethereum on the base network. And I'll go ahead and paste that in from my Tangem wallet. We'll hit continue. Uh, always do small tests first. I've only got a small amount in here anyway. Uh, so I'll go ahead and send it all. But if you've got a lot of Ethereum, please do a small test first. There's the uh, network fee, which is very cheap. Make sure it says base network so you know what you're, that you've got it on there. We'll hit send now. And I need my two factor, which I can get over here. We'll tap that. All right, and that's done. All right, and you can see that the uh, base <laughs> or the Ethereum has come into the wallet and uh, they're indicating that you have a, I have a balance, which is great. Uh, I'm going to need this for any uh, Ethereum fees that if I'm dealing with my base tokens. So uh, let's go ahead and get some base US dollar coin in here so that I can trade a little bit on the base network. So we'll go back to Coinbase. All right, and there's my US dollar coin balance. I'm going to send my US dollar coin. So I need to get the address, All right? I'll go to my US dollar coin that has the base icon and I'll get that address. I'll hit receive. There's the address, I'll hit copy. I'll go back over to Coinbase and then I will paste in that address into my Coinbase account so that I can make a withdrawal. Note, it's the same address that the Ethereum went to. All right, we'll hit continue. Uh, I'll go ahead and send the max. Remember, if you've got a lot, please do small test transactions first to make sure it's gonna get through. We've got the base network there. We've got the network fee. We'll hit send now. And then I'll get my two factor and I'll paste that in here. And I'm done. We'll go back here to the wallet and then we'll just wait for that to come in. It came in really quick. Base network is very fast. Uh, now uh, that we have uh, US dollar coin and base, uh, the, the base here is the Ethereum, uh, we can uh, do a little trading on the base network. So let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. If we go here and do swap, and uh, let's see if we can get Brett. No. Okay. Well, it looks like their swap features are uh, don't have full access to all of the base chain. Uh, but that's just it, this is just an example. Um, I'm sure uh, they'll. Be more coming. All right, so that's how we enable chains and uh, transfer funds. 
at least on the base network, and then uh, these other new networks would be very similar. Now, the passphrase support is uh, a little complicated. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for beginners, and they don't support uh, standalone passphrase wallets from scratch, right? They, they only support importing uh, passphrase-based uh, wallets that you may already have set up on another wallet. So it's a little bit tricky. So you would start with a new card set, All right? I have a new card set here. Uh, we would choose add new wallet, uh, scan the card, the first card of the card set. All right, and then we go to other options and we would choose import wallet. And there uh, we've got the uh, ability to import an existing 24 word seed phrase that has the optional passphrase. So that if you uh, had a wallet already set up with a passphrase, you could access it in here. Again, this is more for uh, advanced users. I wouldn't recommend this if you're just getting started. And I don't know if you would need this every time you access the wallet. You probably would. So in other words, if you import uh, a passphrase protected wallet onto this card set, then every time you access the card set, you would need to enter that passphrase because it's a hidden wallet, right? Now, if we were uh, generating a new seed phrase, if we were going to set this uh, card set up as brand new, we would hit generate seed phrase. And here you can see they have the option of 12 or 24 words. This would be setting it up as new. So uh, if you've got a brand new card set like this, you can uh, set it up with 24 words but uh, you can't add a passphrase in this scenario, right? You can only import existing passphrase protected wallets. All right, so you would write these tw 24 words down and continue with the wallet setup. Uh, you would initialize the first card and then it would ask you to uh, initialize the other two cards and uh, then you would end up with a brand new uh, set of cards. I won't go through that entire scenario right now. I'll save that for another video. I just wanted to make you aware of these new features of the wallet. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.